G'day folks, I'm Wayne and welcome back to the channel. Well today, we're down here at Scott's Point. We're gonna show you how to cast the spinning rod. So it's a nice, simple, easy video for the beginners out there who just wanna know how to cast the rod. There's a lot of people out there fishing for the first time. Well, that's what this video is about. This video is just maybe where to go and buy a rod, what to buy, and then how to cast it. So let's get on with that. So first up, I'm using here, it, this is a, a Kuma gear. Now, this is the sort of gear that if you were a little bit more experienced, you'd go and buy. It's by no means expensive gear. It is great gear to use, and it's certainly the, the second rod you'd buy or the third rod you'd buy. To start off with, you don't need to go and buy your kids a $100, $120 outfit. Go into Kmart, find the shelves, you'll get a rod a reel that looks like this it'll already come with line probably mono that's fine you don't need to change it buy yourself a little box with a few hooks and sinkers in it and that's it you're ready to go you don't need to be more complicated than that so you'll find yourself spending between 30 and 40 dollars and came up for the rod the reel and the tackle it's all you need to spend if you do start to enjoy fishing and get yourself into a place like tackle land have a chat to the guys down there at Tackle Land and, and find some gear that's probably just the next step up from the, the type of gear you'll get in Kmart. This here, the Akuma gear, very easy rod to cast, but all the principles associated with this and the basics associated with this, it's the same for the Kmart rod that you'll be buying. So let's have a look at how to cast this rod and reel. Righto, once you've got your rod and your reel from Kmart, it'll probably come with a hook and a sinker, which will be great. You won't need to worry about it but if it doesn't i'll show you how to put a hook and a sinker on you don't need to be more complicated than that so the sinker goes on first now there's a million different knots you can tie a hook on with you're probably not going to remember any and if you don't tie a double granny knot that's all you need it doesn't need to be more sim more complicated than that i'm going to do a clinch knot We'll go around the line four or five times and we stick it back through the bottom, sit a little loop at the bottom and we'll pull it down. Now, that knot will be fine for you to start with. You've got a little bit of tag end, we'll cut that off and that's fine too. But like I said, you do not need to remember this knot. If you get down there with your child and you want to just bait it up, a double granny knot at the end there and it will be fine. Cut the tag end off. Your sinker slides all the way down to your hook. When you cast out, it'll be a nice easy cast with it set up like this. You don't need to be more complicated than that. This is fine. The only thing left to do is put the bait on. Now, if you're at home or you're a bit squirmish about bait and you don't particularly want to handle worms and prawns and the things you get from a bait shop, chicken. Chicken's fantastic bait for just about everything that swims. We like chicken and I can tell you now, fish like chicken. So raid the fridge. Get yourself a little bit of raw chicken, so chicken breast, chicken thigh, chicken leg. The meat of the chicken straight on your hook, just through once, and you're fishing. That said, if you do want to get worms or prawns and things like that, we'll put a worm on today, and then we'll go down and we'll have a cast. So we're going to put this worm on a hook. Now, it's just like threading a needle. You start at the top of the worm, you push it down, and you thread it on the hook. Keep threading and just leave a little bit of tag end at the end. And that there is a bait that'll catch most fish that you can cast to. Right, we're down at the water's edge. We've got the waves breaking, even though they're not real big, they're real loud. So I'll speak up a little bit. I apologize for that extra noise. The waves there are what you want. That little bit of turbulence, that little bit of wind that's brushing over the water makes it a little bit harder for the fish to see your shadows, to see movement, and they'll be in a lot closer to the edge, which is exactly what you want when you go fishing. So the setup we've got, you've seen how we put the hook on the sinker. This is the end here, the business end. It's about a foot down. Now for casting, that's what you want. Just about a foot down, especially if you're teaching a child. That way, it doesn't matter what he does or what she does, she's not going to end up with a hook through the ear. So about a foot from the tip of the rod is what you want to try to learn. When you cast the rod, 
any spinning reel, you bring the bail arm, the roller of the bail arm, this part here, to the top. And this bit here is the bit you hold. So you just put the line over your finger and open your bail arm. So we're ready to cast here. You can put this hand, and I strongly suggest if you're learning your non-dominant hand or your left hand if you're right-handed, once you've put your non-dominant hand down the bottom, you're ready to cast. Hold your reel over, there's, there's lots of ways to cast. This way is the simplest for a kid, so this is what you want to do if you're teaching your child how to cast. Aim the reel to the sky, keep your trigger finger ready, have the rod parallel with the ground going back, you've got the, the, uh, the line approximately a foot down from the tip, so you're centering your hooker only a foot away from the tip, and then you bring it straight over and you aim for about mid-morning sun. So you can see where the sun is today, it's shining right in my eyes, I'm going to be aiming for the sun, you do not aim for the water. If you aim for the water you're going to end up with a dodgy old cast that lands at your feet. So we want to aim for that sun, and it just keeps on going. So about a foot down, parallel on the ground, reel facing straight up, finger finger holding your line, tail arm open, aim for the sun. So we've got about a foot a litre, on the tip of the rod, open the bail arm up, the line and your trigger finger, over your shoulder, reel facing straight up, a non-dominant hand on the bottom of your rod, flick and aim for the sun. Close the bail arm up, and you're fishing. It's that easy. Lots of different ways to cast a rod. You can teach a child that's the way you want to start. Well that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It helps. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. So if you're looking for a bit of structure, when you do start casting, that's what you want to find. Find yourself something sticking out of the water like that. You know there's about a foot and a half, two feet of water as those rocks get a bit closer to the ground. Probably more close, closer to a foot. Just looking at them. But uh, at high tide, it means there's about a metre and a half to two metres above that structure. And that's where you'll find the fish.